What's up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly Mickey here, and you are listening to and watching Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the titty lover himself, Wildfire One. Did you call me a titty lover? Why are you not? Would, I mean, I'm not denying it, but I mean, <laughs> I just he just caught me off guard with the words titty lover. Uh, you know, every time I do in the intro, I always try to do something different. Ah, you know what? It it works. Yes, guys, I am Wildfire One, and this is Nerd's New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Uh, what are we talking about today, Grizz? This is what episode one fifty six. One fifty six. Season and, eight. You know, Netflix has just been on the ball the last year or so. We've been talking. With, we've been talking a lot uh, about Netflix, Netflix shows. Is, that's because that's where all the good shows are. There's been some and really good shows. American shows. Yeah, and I mean, all there's some Korean shows. This will be the second Korean show that we talked about this podcast. And, like, I told you about it because it's I got hooked on it. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, it just came out, what, the end of last month? Yeah, I believe so. The, the um, end of January, and this is now, what, the second week of February? Yep. And any of you guys that know me, yeah. like, that, that have met me or just know me generally knows that I'm, like, I love the zombie apocalypse, man. Like, I love movies and games that have to do with the zombie apocalypse. And, like, this, mm-hmm. I saw this, and my first thought, and it's... It, We'll just say it. We're we're talking about all of us are dead, right? That's the name, the title. Is that the proper title? Yeah, all of us all are of dead. Us are dead. And it it the first thing about that show that caught me is I was like, oh my god, it's like a live action um, High School of the Dead, which is one of my favorite animes of all time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yep. we've actually talked about that that anime. Tons of time. I think it was. You actually got me hooked on it. Yes, and I think we talked about it with our top five anime. Or it might have been that, or some one of the other yeah. ones. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But that that particular anime was like amazing. It was great. It had like all the it. You know, it was just really well done. And so I I saw this. All of us are dead. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's give this a chance. Uh, I bet you it's gonna be good. And it honestly, it was pretty good. What was your first uh, opinion on that? You know, it, it always gets me with the when it's dubbed because the lips never, the mouth movements never line up. How are you um, doing today? In, in typical, it, yeah, in 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 typical uh, Asian fashion. Yeah, it, it, um, it's with dubs, but dubs have always been bad, but they've gotten yeah, it, better through time. Yeah, well, slightly, now, slightly. It, in a lot of, from what I've, I've seen, like, looking up different locations around the world for, you know, possible trips in the future and all that, is, so, here in America, it's mandatory to take a foreign language. It's mandatory to what? Right? Take a foreign language in high school. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, it is. It is a mandatory. Was it when I was in high school? But that was, you know, Stone Age. So. Yeah, so it's, but I, in a lot of Asian countries, in schools, mandatory to take English. Mm-hmm. So eventually, there's going to be, you know, Korean, Japanese, Chinese shows and movies coming out. It won't need to be dubbed. Well, fingers crossed, but. I think that th- in this case, this particular movie was made for that audience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's yeah. okay because honestly, like, even with the dubbed, I know that you don't like, you don't care for dubbed. I, I can live with it. I'm just happy you don't have to read. Um, because I'm lazy. Yeah, like, it, it was it was really good though. Yeah, really good. What uh, was your first thought on it? Like when uh, when I first came to you and was like, "Hey, watch this, Grizz." What you What was your first thought when you when I told you about it? Because I don't think I've ste- I don't think I've steered you wrong on on things on like Netflix and and I was like hey watch this 
No, with the exception of one thing, you didn't get into Ash vs. the Evil Dead, which broke my heart. Yeah. Um, my first thought was, okay, this is going to be like, like a rom-com type. Like a romance comedy. And yeah, then, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's got the main character who, you know, rushed his soul. Has a crush, but doesn't have a crush on, like, their interactions. Melded together yeah. in, like, the first couple scenes was like, okay, he's going to fall in love with her, or already is in love with her, she's going to like some jock, and then, you know, it's just never going to work out between them, but it's going to be fucking hilarious. Yeah. And then she hits the fan, and he's like, oh my god, I'm in love with her. Oh, I gotta tell her, but she's in love with this guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, but this guy's like my best friend. And I guess oh, it's God, it's I... and I guess it's tradition. If you like someone, you give them your name tag. Uh, I don't know if that's like yeah. a, a normal Asian thing, or if that of the or if it's a Korean thing, or what it is. But I kind of like that. I why didn't we do that in high school? Like, but then again, we never wore name tags. Well, you gotta think about it. If if you go back to like if you like someone and they like you back, you would give them, you know, your class ring or. Your Letterman's jacket. Your Letterman's jacket, that was definitely a thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so I guess it's their version of that. I wonder how, like, realistic that is. I wonder if that's really a thing. That was my first thought, like... Because I've always I've always found that to be interesting. And they, they made it clear in the first, like, what, episode... That, uh, first few episodes, that that was... Okay. Um, so I put in, is giving your name tag to someone you like a normal thing in Korea? Mm-hmm. That is done on purpose, and it's usually because most Korean girls don't want to appear rude and or offensive or aggressive, especially at the first interactions with someone, because they don't know how this person will think about it. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I so mean, it, that, the it, internet tells us that. Kind of, I guess in a way it's kind of like uh, an icebreaker in a way. Yeah, well, according to the according to the this particular show, it was a, a way of showing it's like a Valentine's Day gift, kind of like you you give them here's my name tag. I like you. What did you think of like the beginning of this? How how because you this is one of those shows. This is one of those television shows that like it actually shows the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. Like it it yeah, yeah. it starts it starts and, and throughout the season you you learn about it origin yes you learn a little bit more uh throughout that you f- you find out that it basically uh, a father i <laughs> i call a little bullshit on this it was like a it was like a pharmacist slash high school like biology bio, yeah he, he taught biology and stuff like that and, and he was a teacher but he ended up making this like serum that he tested on his kid because his kid got bullied and uh like bullied Horribly, um, he, he he made it so that his son could get that extra confidence, aggression, aggression, yeah, yeah. to stand up for himself and protect himself. And instead, it kind of and backfired. It turned into the zombie, the zombie virus, and uh, uh, yeah. and so his son was was ground zero, more or less. Um, mm-hmm. And then somehow he turned he he this this teacher was testing it on like a guinea pig or a uh, it looked like a rat, but they said it was a hamster. No. Uh. Well, okay. Yes. Yes. It was a hamster. Yeah. It looked like a rat to me, but you know. Yeah. No, it, was, it was a few hamsters. Yeah. And, and uh, it ended up biting a, t- a student, and that was another thing. And that it, it this that particular student I think was found he was hiding her away and they found her right like or she got out she, she got out and started attacking people but I know that I know that someone went to the to the infirmary in the school and bit the nurse and that was literally about how it started like how it got worse yeah um, and the, what I like about this is it shows how quickly something like that can escalate. You know, all it takes is one person going to the hospital and then starting to bite people, and then one person getting bit in ground zero, and then it just continues from there. And uh, it went from like one minute it was just a normal high school day to like a shit show. You no, know, like the the Walking Dead type. 
yeah. uh, virus where everybody has it, everybody's infected. No, you're you either infected or you're in, not. You know, in, in a few days to a week, you're going to fucking turn. No, it's like you get bitten within like three minutes. It two, kills three you. Minutes, you're yeah. Yeah, it, it, it takes over your nervous system, shuts your entire body down and takes over. Yeah, and then supposedly I think it, 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 uh, like it, the virus itself changed at one point, and uh, it yeah, got, yeah. It, uh, it evolved. It evolved. That's the word it, I was looking for. Say, you don't want to say mutated, uh, because it didn't. It evolved. It learned. Mm-hmm. It um, became, and it became. But only in select individual. Yeah, and honestly, if you think about it, that that's kind of realistic. Like. Even in certain good zombie games, it does that. Like, if there's something that someone does that's different than others, like someone's taking roids or something, they're going to become a big motherfucker. Or The evolution of this particular zombie virus was you get to keep who you are, but you still have that but hunger. It intensifies it. Yeah. Yeah, you still have that hunger to, to want to eat, but it intensifies... Your smell, you like your hearing, the main, everything. The main bad guy... The bully, the bully who we 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 mentioned yeah. earlier, who's who's uh, he? There was a scene where he basically made this girl undress and and threatened to like put it all over the internet and, and in front of her boyfriend. I'll say he was a dick. I'll just say it that way. The guy was a fucking prick, and you hated, you loved to hate him. Great a douchebag. Great actor, because you you love to hate him. Yeah, he got well the second evolution. Yeah, he was one uh, of the. He was maybe the yeah the second person to get it. Because the first one was the girl, the girl that he was forced to undress. Yep. she went up to the roof. Jump. Yeah, like, they were they were on the roof. She was actually going to commit suicide, unfortunately, and uh, her boyfriend would talked her out of it. And then, of course, by that time, the zombie apocalypse was in full swing. At least Ground Zero was. Everyone was eating each other on the ground. People were getting infected and you know that they were stuck up there and at one point she says fuck this i'm leaving like i'm i'm tired of waiting and he's like she's like you can come with me or you can stay up here and guess what he did he stayed up there which honestly i can't blame him to an extent but he turned out to be a douche too but she got she went down of course she got bit right yes and then she she was one of the first um, ones that we noticed didn't change right away like the others we found out that once you're bit and the virus evolves within you, the other zombies leave you alone. Yeah, they don't fuck with you. Because you are one of them. Mm -hmm. One of the best scenes, and I know I'm skipping ahead, there's a lot of scenes we can talk about, but one of the best scenes I liked was when the bully changed. That was a good fight between him and the hero, the hero kid, and uh, where there was in the, it was in the uh, library, and there was some really cool, like, there was some really cool parkour shit going on where they're jumping from, from oh, thing man. to thing. And, and the kid, the bully kid falls down and all these zombies bite him. And because of that, he has a grudge for the hero uh, throughout the rest of the series. Hatred. Hatred. Yes. Yes. He wanted that. He wanted that, to kill it. His main goal in life that the virus gave him was vengeance. Yes. And what he also thought he was a god, so it, yeah. is it me or did that dude fall off of like buildings more than Wiley e. Coyote? He fell off that school probably a dozen fucking a, a good a good six to twelve <laughs> times, man. He they they pushed him off. That was like like he was like the main boss that would like climb up and they did like okay fuck it you're gonna go back off again and until the final bot the final fight. But we're working up to that. Uh, there's a lot of, throughout throughout everything they. They kind of find a bunch of kids kind of find each other, and the first thing they do is hold up in a classroom, right? And uh, so they they some other stuff happens. They got to go down downstairs, which they can't because zombies. So they uh, they do probably the only thing they can do is they climb down into another classroom where they find a teacher and uh, their favorite teacher. their favorite teacher who and then and then like there's one particular girl that really hates like this poor kid um yeah she's a up rich girl and the best friend of the main character yeah and 
his parents are on welfare. Never really says why. And um, she's a bitch to him throughout the whole thing. Uh, All the way till his bitter end, which we're getting to. And uh, she, more or less, uh, they have to fight so- a zombie off or something, and he gets scratched, right? He got scratched by the computer when he that's, threw the computer at the zombie. Office. That's what it was. He got scratched by the computer when, he, and then, and she's telling him, "Oh, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. That's how it works." Da 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 da. And so he goes. They they all agree to put him in like the the music booth, the recording booth to, for like mm-hmm. the, it was supposed to be like ten minutes, but he's like, "Fuck it, I'll be in there for an hour." And then yeah. She goes in, She and if he doesn't turn, she's supposed to go apologize. And this is even enforced by the yeah, teacher. Yeah, within, within 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now another thing, they had a broken broom uh, that they were using to kill certain zombies. And by this time, a few of the other students have already turned in front of them, so they got to see, like, how it works, how what happens. And so we're and as a viewer, we're used to seeing how it works, and it's it's creepy and fucking weird. But you guys got to watch it to see. I can't even explain it. Back to that, she goes in the the booth to apologize to him, but little do we know. Well, little does anyone else know that she had wiped a uh, she used a handkerchief to wipe off the blood, the zombie, the zombie blood from this uh, broken broom. And she, and she was pretending to be like nice to him. She was wiping his wound with it. So guess what happened slightly after? So she she wanted to be right so badly that she straight murdered a dude. Like because from the outside they couldn't hear what they were what her and the yeah. other kid were talking. It was about. a it was a recording booth. She was literally so, being a bitch to him. Yeah, everyone outside thought okay, well maybe she came to her senses. You know, she apologized. They even applauded for and her when she walked time, out. The whole time she's in there, she's like, "You're gonna die, real soon." Yeah, you're. You know, you're worth she called him a wealthy, like welfare. Yeah, and that was, that was fucked up. And then, of course, not too long, he had to turn in front of his best friend, and they pushed him out the window. Uh, that motherfucker <laughs> got up and started running, go after some poor victim. Uh, I believe once they once they figured that out, there was there was the class president. Uh, the really quiet, rich, uh, like her mom had money, and, and the whole reason she was a class president is because of that. Um, who had who had seen the whole thing and made it obvious to everyone else? And I think they at that point they kicked her out. They kicked not the president, but the gal mm. that that condemned the other guy, and they kicked her out. And then the the teacher, which I don't get to this, like even thinking about it, the teacher went at, like went with her. Oh, is that big? I don't know. Yeah, she, she, you know what, man, like, that just shows that you're too into yourself, like, you're kind of narcissistic, you're gonna, you're, you just to be right, you'll do anything, and that, you li- you straight murdered this kid, like, you murdered him, he was fine, until you did what you did, and she tried to deny it up until the bitter end, so we end up finding out what happens to her, the teacher ends up getting killed, she ends up hiding in some sort of, like, food storage closet and she's sitting pretty it was the storage closet for um the van yeah but they had food in there that because they had a food drive kind of thing um the uh the band boosters donation yeah it was and like she, chips snacks sodas bread like all sorts of stuff and mm-hmm. there's one point where they're all where they where they kind of escape into there uh, but anyway they 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 all kind of go into that to that room and they don't have. I don't know where that she's in that in that like storage closet locked up, and they're getting ready. She, you can tell she's getting ready to like feed them because they're talking about how hungry they are, and she's getting ready to get food, and then they just like, well, but what about this bitch? <laughs> it's good that she's not with us no more, and she's like, fuck that, and so, uh, so they don't get their food, and at this point they're 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 probably it's probably been what a day or two. They're they're starving. They're hungry. They're they're hungry and thirsty. And tell us some more, Grizz, about what maybe some of the stuff that I'm forgetting about. One of the main characters, uh, his sister is an upper class. These mm-hmm. are all juniors who was with the archery team and came back to school early because she didn't make the national team to go to the Olympics and all that shit. Um, and they got back to the school 
I don't know, maybe an hour after the, like, shit hit the fan? Yeah. Well, as they were coming through the gate, they ran somebody over. Yeah. And so they stopped right in the gate where no other vehicle. And then they all got out, and most of them died, and it was just two of them that survived. That survived, yep. And I think it should be, uh, it, it's a mention that you get to meet the hero character's mom. And she's like a, she has this mm-hmm. chicken joint where it's named after him and it has his face on it. And it, she, you can tell that she's very proud of her son, uh, that she's very kind of, there's a lot of pride behind his, her kid. Obsessed. Uh, yeah, she, well, I, I mean, obsessed sounds like it's bad. She was very proud of her son. She was, she was, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of pride that she wanted to show him off and it was embarrassing to him of course she turns into a zombie like she's she goes from she actually goes from her safe place to go find her son at or to go look for her son at a moped. Uh, yeah on a moped to go look for her son at the school and it's, it's like as soon as she got to the school she got bit by her son's friend by her son's friend yeah that's right i forgot about that part by her son's friend, she's talking to him, and like I'm, I'm like uh, the whole time I'm like, "Lady, turn around, run, go find safety," and uh, she got, she, yeah, she got turned, and that was, I was fucking, that was sad. I was, I wasn't like crybaby sad, but I was. It was the dumb blonde of the horror movie. Yeah, she was oblivious to the world. She like, was. She, she's on TV. Zombies are everywhere. They're killing people. They're eating people. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to close up shop and I'm going to go find to my son. Zero, and I'm going to find my son and make sure he's safe. Oh, hey, look, there's my friend's son. Why do you have blood on your face? Yep. He, are you okay? Yep. Oh, why are you bothering me? Rawr! And next thing you know, she's a zombie, too. And, uh, you know, that, and of course, when, when the hero sees that later on, it really fucks with right. It's kind of interesting because the, the love interest's dad does almost the same thing, and he's a, he's a fire fire guy firefighter yeah and and he's doing his best to get to her and ends up getting bit in the long run uh after saving them a little bit as well saving them twice twice yes and the story of this is is really good like one of the most epic scenes in my opinion is when they were in the gym Mm -hmm. when they decided to make that uh that like that contraption which was like a good idea for the most part, but it was also a bad idea. I would say my favorite part was, one of them was, uh, so, the class president. Real quiet, never really talked to anybody. Didn't have any friends. Um, The first time she kind of jumps into action to save one of the group, she gets bit, but she doesn't turn. Like, she starts to turn, and she, like, mentally shuts it off. She's a half B. Yeah, a half B. A half B. Half zombie. Yes, and that's and that was really cool. She did, like, that thing they did with her eye always freaked me out, though. Like, I thought that was fucking weird. Like, her eye, like, when she would turn... Like, when cheeks start to melt and her eyes start to, like, droop out. Like, droop, like, going inside out. It's fucking like, weird. When she, when she um, goes path B, it's fucking spooky. Her evolution of the her virus um, gives her like super fucking strength. Well, it did the it did the other guy too, the uh, the bully. Yeah, but like with hers, she was throwing him around like a fucking rag doll. I mean, two of the few times he got thrown off the roof, I think, was because of her. Her, yeah. There's one point she's. Um, the popular guy, the one that the the main female character liked. He was a good guy too. Well, not her. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I like her her storyline, her progression from the super quiet, not not talking to anybody, to you Being know, a badass. fast forward to the end of the season. All she wanted throughout the season was. The, to be able to get together again around a campfire, yeah, with friends, and that that and was they really all cool. risk, they all risk going to prison to sneak back into 
the school, the dead zone, to go have a fit around the campfire. So what did what towards the end, like the the certain amount of the group, the ones that made it, uh, ended up being going to like this safe zone, the military safe zone, and the uh, I never thought of this. I, I never saw this coming, but when they use the drones to lure all the zombies into like these the, the places where they're gonna bomb, I didn't think that that I, I that was ingenious. Like I would have never thought of that. I thought that was pretty badass. Yeah, that was that was uh, fucking awesome. To be honest with you, but I want to know how many people had to fly those tens of thousands. There was a lot of drones out there, and it was really cool. They, they got rid of a lot of the zombies. Um, one of one of the things that I will say was the final battle between the hero and the villain, and you knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, the hero kind of sacrificed himself so that everyone else could go. And it, it it's kind of cute because he gave his uh, name tag to the girl he liked. And the girl he liked finally figured out that he was, she had no chance with with the guy she liked because he he was already into the 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 president. The class president. Yeah, and so one of the cool things when uh, he's like, "Okay, guys, I want the the hero go tells him go down, go down to the first floor," and he screams out to the, get the zombies' attention. He says, "This is the best day of my life," or something along those lines. I'm the luckiest guy in school. That's what it was. I'm the luckiest guy in school. And uh, so he ends, up, he ends up doing a really smart thing to get rid of the zombies following him. He goes into like an elevator shaft, jumps to the other side, and those dumbasses are just falling down. Well, unfortunately, after falling off the, the roof 30 times, this other guy, the, the, the bad guy had a fucking vendetta. <laughs> went after his ass. And there, there was a really cool fight between those two which of course unfortunately the the uh hero character had no chance of like physically doing much to him because this guy had like strength so uh the between the two and of the them fact that, that the hero virus hadn't fully affected him oh yeah and he got bit that's right he had gotten bit while they were were that's hiding because he, mm -hmm. he knew he knew that he was going to turn eventually um, and there was a good fight between those two, and that's about the time, like, well, while he's giving the others a chance to run, he kind of sacrifices himself and fights the bully character, and, uh, that was really cool because the, the, the bombs hit, and there's this badass flame effect coming at him, and they, I want to say they both got incinerated. Yeah. As they were falling down the elevator. As they were falling down the elevator shaft. So that was kind of cool. I was kind of hoping he'd be a half bee. But zombie zombie apocalypse mm. story did never really end nice. If they do end up doing the second season. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see it. He may be a half bee, but I, I, mean, I would love to say that he is. but um, He did. He's he's a charcoal. He charcoal just like the rest of those fuckers. Like if he survived, then the bad guy had to too, and the bully kid. And I don't want that kid back. Uh, that he got that kid got what no, he had no. coming. On a lighter side, I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed. Like after the bomb hit, and they go back to look through the uh, the construction site where he was fighting. You know. All the char and all that. Did you happen to notice that the bags of cement never got touched? No, I, I, I didn't see that. What do you mean? The bags of cement, they look like they had just been put there. Huh. Colorful plastic that was around the equipment. Still around the equipment. So, that, yeah, that makes... That's interesting. That might, mean, that might lead to something. Going to the end of it, like where... They all kind of snuck out to go see the class president. That was really cool. She kind of came into her own, and that that was a good story. Um, it sucked to see the protagonist possibly die, uh, but he did die in the most badass way possible. One to ten, what would you give this? Mm, I would say with storyline alone, it would be a solid eight with the graphics and everything else. 
that bumps it up to 8.75, almost 9. It's a solid 8 for me. It was really, it was entertaining. It was good. I, I got addicted to it. I, I, I had binge watched it, I want to say in about three days. I had watched it. How long did it take you? Yeah, sounds about right for me. Between work and like coming home and doing stuff and, you know, just life. I, uh, mm. It was about three a three-day binge for me, but it was worth it. How many episodes is it? Do you remember? Eleven episodes. Um, like an right hour long. Eleven hours. It's a, a really good show. It shows kind of like the worst of mankind and also the best. I highly recommend watching it. Uh, is there anything else we we want to mention before we end the podcast? It, it shows a bit of political corruption. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and we'll, we'll let you watch it too. You know, figure that out for yourself. We don't want to give you everything. That. You see, there's a lot of hard decisions that need to be made by certain people. Mm-hmm. And with every decision, there was a consequence. Just like in life. Just like in life. And, and the one thing that we do have to mention, and God forbid there actually is a zombie apocalypse, there will be tons of dumbasses like this one in particular, dumb shit. Oh, I'm curious on what you're going to say. Wanted to show his viewers what fighting zombies was like. The dumbass with the the orange guy. Fuck the that orange. guy. That guy was dumb as fuck. And he's like, oh, I'm here at the zombie. He's, he's got like all this equipment on. I'm here at the zombie apocalypse. And he's... Guys, I'll tell you right now. You'll never see that shit from us. Like, zombie apocalypse. Maybe yeah, I'll... We'll I'll We'll record. We'll record it from our bunkers or like a safe place. Being like, "Hey guys, uh, we're still alive, you know." But I'm not gonna go out there and be like, "Look, it's a zombie! Rah, 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 it's trying to eat me!" I'm, you're not gonna yeah, see that shit. Ground level, you know, I'll be at the top of the building going headshot. The kids when he when he found yeah. all those fucking like he went to a preschool. <laughs> all these fucking munchkins come at him. I about shat myself laughing, but it was also horrifying. So what does he do? He tries hiding in the fucking jungle gym. <laughs> he ends up dropping his camera and jumping up on the fucking covered slide. Yeah, you'll never see us do that. Like, that. I for completely... Oh. He got saved by the detective. And in, the detective actually saved a little girl... Another cop, and then like this dumbass, and a baby, and a baby, and a baby, which belonged to uh, a, one of the students from the beginning who left school to give birth, of all things, in a fucking restroom. Yeah, he went into the infirmary um, at the school to seek help. At the same exact time, the girl that was patient zero was Got, brought into the infirmary yeah, and bit the. So she's like, nurse. fucking come out, went to a park and ended up giving birth to the baby. And no shitter. Everything was fine. And she leaves the baby in the bathroom, comes out, and she's like, oh shit, zombies. Oh, my baby. Uh, what The way the the way they turn is fucking weird, too. They Like, everything cracks, and, and they make weird movements, and, and it was really, it was an entertaining, a really entertaining show. If you like zombie flicks, go watch it, because it's, it's worth it. Yes. Yeah. The end of the season's coming up. Ferner's new sexy. It is. We've got four more episodes. Yeah. As, as we've said before, uh, this is going to be the last season for us on Newgrounds. You know, just as a heads up again, guys, uh, we're, we're leaving Newgrounds as a uh, as an outlet for us. Uh, and But you can still watch us on YouTube and listen to us on Anchor or Apple Apple Podcasts and all that, so all those other things, Spotify, all that other shit. But if you guys want us to do a review or want us to talk about a certain subject in the next season or even this season, we still got four episodes left. Uh, there's a way to get a hold of us. And how is that, Mr. Grizzly? That number is 559 997 6803. Again, 559 997 6803. Leave a message. We'll listen. As he said, remember to uh, call that number if you want to get a hold of us and give us an idea, something to watch, review, or play. Uh, is there anything else you want to say, Chris? Thank you can follow us on Twitch. I've streamed once. I'm going to be streaming more. Wild and I have been playing a few things here and there, and we've been streaming a bit. We'll be streaming more. Uh, we've got some 
personal challenge ideas when it comes to gaming that we're wanting to do. Yeah, stay tuned. And then you'll see, like, you can see uh, JFlow on Facebook. You can see uh, Ice Cold mm-hmm. on our Twitch. Uh, myself, when I get the chance, and uh, Monster on YouTube. So we're we're trying. We haven't been streaming on YouTube as much lately because there's been a lot going on, and we got a lot of videos coming out. Of course, we're doing the food reviews. Uh, do I, that comes out every Saturday. I'm buying more stuff to review, and that's all fun. So stay tuned, guys. We'll definitely continue to do our best to entertain you. So, once again, guys, we thank you for watching and listening. Till next week, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Always.